lovelies, I hope you're all well. So Cricut have released this week's Christmas craft along theme and the theme is Secret Santa slash last minute gifts. So I'm going to go down the, well it could be either Secret Santa or last minute gifts. So I've got a friend who is very very difficult to buy for and I wanted to make her some bits that I could put almost in a hamper for her and it would be her her gift and you can do any of these as a last minute slash secret Santa so she is loving gin at the moment uh, she she loves it so I thought if I gave her some gin themed uh, presents to go in a hamper with a bottle of gin or some uh, gin accompaniments it would be a really nice present for her so the first thing I'm going to do is make a gin glass for her so I've got my gin glass and I'm going to obviously decorate it so I've got my text here. For this font, I've just used Arial font. And for this one, I've just used Anissa Sands. I want to keep them both separate, but I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to weld all of this together so it all cuts as one. And that's really all I want to do for the glass. So I'm then going to go to make it. I want them to cut out in the same material, but I want to place them separately because a gin glass is obviously quite bulbous. So we can then go to continue. So I've got two of the new Cricut Permanent Premium vinyls here, and these are both frosted. So I wanted to give them a go. So I've got frosted with kind of glitter speckles in it, and then I've got clear frosted as well. And I don't know which one to use. I think we're going to go with the speckles today. So I wasn't sure which of the transparent vinyls I was going to use. I've now gone with the glitter effect. So we're going to go to browse all materials. We're going to come down to vinyl. And you'll see we've got premium vinyl. So we had the premium vinyl frosted opaque and the premium vinyl frosted glitter. And as I say, I've now decided I'm going to go with the premium vinyl frosted glitter. So for my next thing to go in my hamper, I'm going to make her just a makeup bag. It could be a holding bag, whatever she wants to put in it. It's just a sweet little bag. And I've decided to go with this. I saw this in another design and I've just come in and made it myself. So these two fonts are the skinny. And then this font is Kate's ABC and you can see that it's a double layered font and I've just made both layers visible. So it's going to cut out both of them. If I just ungroup them, it's going to cut out both of them and I can then layer them on top of each other to create that almost shadow effect. And then I've just come in with two squares here which I've made into lines. You can see that I've welded my gin and my two lines together because I'm going to cut those out in the same material. So we can go to make it. I'm going to be using iron on for all of these so I want to make sure that I mirror in design space. 
So I'm going to be using all Cricut iron-on today. So for layer one, I'm using glitter iron-on. You can see it's already saved to my favorites. But if you don't know how to find it, you just go to browse all materials, scroll down to iron-on and you'll then find glitter iron-on. The same with layer three, that is going to be a glitter iron-on. Layer two is going to be the new Sports Flex iron-on. So we're going to go to Browse All Materials. We're going to come down to Iron-on and you can then see we've got Sport Flex iron-on. And then for layer four, I'm using my Bejeweled Foil Sampler iron-on. So again, we're going to Browse All Materials. We're going to come down to iron on and we can then click foil iron on. So I'm going to be using all Cricut iron on today. I've got some Cricut iron on foil. I've got some Cricut iron on glitter and I've got the Cricut Sport Flex iron on as well. This is neon green. It is so beautiful. So as always with iron on, we're going to turn it so it's shiny side down onto our mat. my makeup bag here I've got my easy prep mat and also I've got a homemade pressing pillow in here if you don't know how to make these they're really easy to make and I have got a tutorial on this the reason I'm putting my pressing pillow in there is obviously because we've got our zip area so we want our iron-on area to be higher than our zip we're going to go in with our glitter iron on first so I've got the easy press set to 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds. I'm just going to come in and preheat the area for about 5 to 10 seconds. It just takes away any moisture from your material. So because we're going in with our first layer and we've got our carrier sheet on there we obviously don't need our Cricut heat protectant mat or Teflon sheet. So we're going to go in at 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds. We also want to then move our pressing pillow along so that it covers the rest of our HTV area. You want to leave that to cool for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once you've allowed it to cool a little bit, you're going to come in and we're just going to peel away. We're going to come in and place our Cricut protective sheet or if you've got a Teflon sheet, you can use that. And again, we're coming in for 340 deep. And again, we're at 340. So we're going to come in with our Sport Flex. Now I just want to note that when you go onto the Easy Press Interactive Settings Guide and you put in that you're using Sport Flex and you're using uh, cotton or cotton canvas or cotton poly mix and you're using your Easy Press mat, it does actually say it is not recommended. Uh, the reason for this is that Sport Flex is a stretchy uh, iron-on, so it's for things like uh, leg sports gear, socks, anything that's kind of movable. Uh, so that's why if you're using a setup like this you will not find settings for it. However, I'm going to go in at 305 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds which is what I would if it was just a normal iron-on. Now with the sports flex, you want to allow this to cool for one to two minutes. So you do want to let it cool down for a bit. We can then come in and just gently start peeling away. So now we're going to add our Cricut foil. So I've got my Easy Press set to 295 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 seconds. Thank you. 
Again, you want to give that about 10 to 15 seconds just to cool down. We're then going to turn our item over and we're just going to press from the back 305 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. And we're just going to press on the back at 305 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. And this will just help to really seal your iron on. So for our final piece we are going to decorate a small tote bag and we're going to decorate it with a bitmoji. If you don't know how to create a bitmoji and you don't know how to bring it into Design Space I will link to the tutorial in which I show you how to do that below. And I've also come in with my text. This is Chasing Hearts. And I've just used my curve tool to be able to curve it round. Again, if you don't know how to use the curve tool, I have done tutorials on this. I've obviously come in and I've sized it up and I've done everything I need to do. This is obviously going to be a print and cut and my text is going to cut out in iron on. So we can go to make it. For our print and cut, we are using printable iron on light. You do want to mirror it, but of course, always make sure you read the instructions. Then we are going to be using Cricut foil iron on. And again, I want to mirror that. So we can then go to continue. So I am going to send to printer. I'm going to send to my Canon inkjet. And I like to make sure that I turn the bleed off. That's just my personal choice. You can have it on or off. The bleed acts as a cut buffer, but I just like to have it off. Once printed, we can go to browse all materials. We can come down to iron on. I'm going to use principal iron on light today. Layer two, I'm using the Cricut foil iron-on from my Bejeweled sampler, so I'm going to browse all materials. I'm going to come down to iron-on, and I'm going to choose foil iron-on. bag here it's sat on my easy press mat and I've also got a pressing pillow inside it the reason I've got a pressing pillow inside it is it's kind of like a 3d bag so there's lots of kind of folds in there so we're going to go in with our foil HTV first but first of all we want to preheat our area we don't need a heat protective sheet or a Teflon sheet because we've got our carrier sheets on here and we've got nothing else exposed. So I'm coming in for 295 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 seconds. As always you want to leave that to cool for about 15 seconds and then we can come in and just gently peel away.
printable iron on light so I'm going to place it face down. I am going to place my heat protective sheet over it. So my easy press is set to 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Once you've left it to cool slightly we're just going to grab a corner and we can then come in and just gently peel away. How pretty is that? That is so pretty. I'm going to be doing more of these bitmojis. I think they're so easy to do and they're super personalised as well. We can then turn our bag over. You can see I have decorated the back. This is just using the iZinc textile sprays and I will do a tutorial on these. I am going to take my pressing pillow out. The whole point of pressing on the back is it helps seal your iron on on the front. So we, we do want to remove the pressing pillow. And my easy press is set to 305 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds and I'm just going to heat the entirety of the back of the bag. 